Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. This is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Welcome back to another live craft on our Sunday night. Um, I am going to get this out there. Make sure that you sprinkle this. Um, and when you're hopping on, make sure that you say hello. Drop a comment below so we can have some fun together tonight. We'll give everybody some time to hop on. But hello again. It is good to see everybody. I'm excited for tonight's craft. Oh, so yeah, I'm excited for tonight's craft. Oh, I can see that mom has hopped on. Hello. Let's get this going. All right, awesome, awesome. Let me open this up, shut my volume off. All right, so make sure that you're saying hello when you're hopping on. It's good to see everybody. Happy Sunday. I am going to um, get going rather quickly tonight um, because I think this might take a little longer than I think. So I want to make sure we can get going. So hello, Jennifer. It's good to see you. Jennifer and I have been like messaging this week, different crafting ideas, which has been exciting. So hello, Jennifer. Good to see you. Hi, mom. Um, so yes, yeah, so make sure that you drop a comment below when you hop on. Make sure you, if you love this, please sprinkle it out um, on your page and spread the crafting love. So, all right, so we're gonna do a love you to pieces um, hanger tonight, all right? So I'm gonna move my mouse somehow here, okay. So when when the, the heart cutouts came out, you know, at the stores back like at Christmas time, um, I grabbed a ton. So that's why you've been seeing this one a lot. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna be using this tonight. And we're going to be using some puzzle pieces. I just picked up a cheap puzzle, super cheap. Um, and we're gonna use the puzzle pieces. I don't even know what the puzzle is. Um, and that doesn't matter. And I'm gonna use a little stencil um, and just some paints and things. So it's not, a, it's not an uber complicated project. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. And of course, I didn't plug this in. Sh oh, and I just whacked myself with it. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, hello. Welcome to Sunday night, guys. My goodness gracious. All right, so we're going to plug our glue gun in because we are going to get going, guys. Um, so again, we're making a little um, a little hanger, a little love you to pieces hanger. Um, so I know, right? Ouch, like literally just whack me right in the face. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take off, oops, is take off the, um, the little hanger that comes on the heart. Um, it just kind of slips right out, which is super convenient. If it works for me, there we go. There we go. So I take one out. I don't think I'm gonna put it back. Um, I think I'm going to use a different hanger later because when we put puzzle pieces on, I think it's gonna cover it. So um, I'll keep it, you know, just in case. But I don't think we're gonna be putting that back. Um, so hello everybody again. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're here with another live Sunday night. Um, please drop a comment, say hey when you're hopping on, so that we can hang tonight together. Um, you would think that the Patriots were playing this weekend. Yes, right? <laughs> this is like my, my loungewear, like 90% of my loungewear is Patriots. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is I'm t I have a bag of 500 puzzle pieces. Lord help us if we have to use all 500. I don't think we will. Um, and we're, I'm just gonna take a bunch out to start. We're gonna start gluing these around the edge, okay? Um, I'm gonna do all the painting last. I was really thinking about this today. Uh, and how I wanted to approach this project because I've seen, oh, I, I, you could paint all of these individually first. That way you could do like a different color for the heart and this and then glue them on. But I just thought that would take way too long to try to paint each one of these like beautifully individually, especially because they have a pat, you know, they have a pattern and everything on it. Hello, Michelle. Thanks for watching. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue them all on around the edge first. Um, and then we're just going to do like a, paint technique to get it all going. All right, so I am just going to begin. I have my hot glue gun here, guys. Take out a couple extra sticks because Lord knows we're gonna need them. And then at random, I am just gonna start gluing these around the edge in no particular fashion. I will let them overlap. I may even do like a second coat of them as I go. So guys, here's, whoops, figures, right? Here's what we're doing. We're just gluing them around the edges, okay? And like I said, um, 
I am going to like overlap them, whatever, and I might even do like a second layer of them as we go. Hi, Kristen. Oh my gosh, so Ryder's gonna be 10 months tomorrow, Kristen. That is amazing. I can't believe how quickly that's going. He must be getting so big now. Oh, he's adorable. The pictures you post are super cute. All right, so let's keep going. So how was everybody's weekend? What were they up to? Tell me about it. It was freezing, right? Weather, weather update, it was freezing. We had a, um, a family uh, birthday parade today. One of my aunties had a milestone birthday. So we did a socially distanced outdoor parade. Um, and I couldn't feel my fingers or my hands, even with my gloves on. It was quite chilly. Oh, what else we got going on? Crafting, what else, right, Jennifer? Absolutely. I am, um, crafting is truly like my, my stress relief. Um, so I do, I just, yeah, I try to fit it in as often as I can. Hello, Yvonne. Welcome. It's good to see you. Um, so guys, I am, I mean, I'm trying to kind of alternate how these are going on to like not all the same direction. Um, and I am overlapping them as we go. All right. So I'm just gluing on puzzle pieces. Um, hi, Stephanie. Hello. I'm so glad to see you on this. Thank you. Happy almost birthday to Stephanie. Tomorrow. Lots of birthdays in my family um, in January, like super tons. We have, um, just in the family, we have three this week, one at, one after the other. And then Stephanie, my girl, um, is tomorrow too. Um, oh, thank you, Bob. Yes, so I never wear hats because I think my face is too round to wear them and I don't think they look good. Um, but Bob told me that I look cute in hats. And I didn't do my hair today. So we're wearing a hat. So give me a thumbs up if you like the hat look. Um, I'm still trying to build my confidence to wear baseball caps. Because um, those are definitely too narrow for my head, I think, at the moment. I have to, I have to work there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. I'll make sure I tell everybody happy birthday to the fam and happy birthday to you. Um, oh, this isn't taking too long. I mean, we're, we're getting, I mean, it's going to take a little bit, but once we get all these glued on, that's the easy part. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll show you how it's coming along so far though. We're doing a, hello. Hi, Amy. Hi. Oh my gosh. Everybody's jumping on. Amy. Oh my gosh. This project makes me think of you. Oh, thank you, Amy. Um, because we're doing a love you to pieces and that is always what Amy says. Love you to pieces. So we're gluing puzzle pieces around this heart. Um, and we're doing love you to pieces. So Amy, this is like inspo Amy. Um, super excited. Oh, you guys are too sweet. Thank you so much. Bob, you were right. Not that I doubted you, but you know, I'm self-conscious about, I don't know. I, so my hair is like the, my, I, I care most about my hair. Right. And if that looks okay. Um, because I really, it's like the one thing I super like about myself, like really the only thing, I don't know. We could talk about self-confidence and all that like forever, right guys? Um, but my hair, I, I, I pay lots of attention to. And so when I put a hat on, I just feel like it, like my hair feels like me and without, with the hat, I'm like, where's my me, you know? Um, but what I think I'm, I like about the pom pom -y winter hats is that it still gives me like a little bit of volume here and here, right? The bigger the hair, the closer to God, right? I feel like I should have been Southern. Um, but um, so like when I wear a baseball cap, it's really narrow and I feel like I don't have the volume that I like. Um, so that's what I have to work on, okay? Like in terms of acceptance. Oh my gosh, I, I see. Yes, that's the other thing, Yvonne. So like the short hair with the hats, normally my hair is a little shorter than this. Um, with the pandemic, everything's kind of been different. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like when my hair is shorter and like nothing sticks out, um, then I feel like super self-conscious and, and interesting about wearing a hat, but I'm sure that you would look fabulous, Yvonne. All right. Cause let's be honest, let's, we're all fabulous and it, it, we're all fabulous. Um, my gosh. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Amy. You guys are, swap it. Thank you, Jennifer. 
Jennifer, do you prefer Jen or Jennifer? I was thinking that as we were messaging this week. Um, I want to make sure we're calling all our friends by their preferred names, obvi. Oh. Who's watching football? Huh? I know Stephanie's watching football. Stephanie's a happy girl. Guys, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm like super pumped. And then we're going to paint it um, and do some dry brushing. I'm excited about it. What do you think? So, so far, we've got half the heart done. This didn't take as long as I thought, so that's good. We've got half the heart done. I might do a few extra pieces once we get around the rest of it. Um, okay, Jennifer, I just thought I'd ask. Just like, um, I feel the same way people ask if I prefer Beth or Bethany. Um, it doesn't It doesn't really matter to me. I don't know. I think I used to have a preference of Bethany, um, but as I got, I've gotten older, I don't, I don't think I care quite as much anymore. Um, so... Same, same with me, doesn't matter, either way. Oh, all right. Yeah, Jennifer, isn't that funny? Everybody kind of has a different, like, I feel like a lot of my family calls me Beth. Um, they have since, you know, my obviously my whole life. Um, but then like my grandfather calls me Bet. you know, kind of lobs off the H, which I, I think is adorbs. Um, oh, come on, get in there glue stick, thank you. Um, so yeah, I feel like everybody just kind of, when I was in high school and then people I've seen um, since high, like if I've seen them that I went to high school with them, but I'm not really super friendly with them anymore, but you know, we see each other like a reunion or something. I used to be called um, B-Con in high school. It's um, obviously the B is for Bethany and then Con was the first half of my maiden name. And um, and so like people will still call me B-Con or like a couple of people called me um, the business because uh, I would get things done the business, right? Um, so like when we go to a reunion, I still have people who call me that and I think it's so funny. <laughs> oh, hi Lauren, thank you so much. We're doing a love you to pieces heart. So we are gluing puzzle pieces on our heart. Now, I am not taking credit for the, first of all, I'm not taking credit for the love you to pieces because that is Amy all the way. Um, however, I'm also not taking credit for the project because I saw this, um, I saw this somewhere else. I don't, I, and I, it, I'm bummed because I can't remember where I saw it. Um, but definitely not my original idea to use puzzle pieces for Love You to Pieces. Um, but you know, I'm kind of putting my own spin on it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's like crafters. That's kind of just like what we do. Not that we can't create our own stuff too, but, um, you know, it's kind of just like a, a little crafting family and we all kind of work together to come up with new and exciting ideas and, you know, build off of each other. And, um, you know, I, I mean, there are quite a few times that like, I'll, I'll come up organically with what I do on either the Sunday night lives or just in general. Um, Actually, yeah, the thing I was making yesterday, the, the Cricut um, tutorial, I don't know if you guys caught that. I can um, put the link, I can link it later. Um, but yesterday's video that I was making, I finished it, obviously, so I want to reveal that tonight too. Um, the shower, the people you love with love. So a lot of the Valentine stuff that I've been making outside of the Sunday Night Lives, I've been um, coming up with myself. I've been, I really, I like to use my Cricut now. I mean, I invested in it, so I want to make sure that I'm using it. Um, so I've been coming up with like a lot of different things to, um, to make with it. So anywho, so tell me what y'all are up to this Sunday evening. I want to hear from you guys. Let's keep gluing my puzzle pieces here. Drop, make sure that you are dropping a comment below when you're hopping on, say hello. Um, and those of you who are just hopping on, cause I see some people just hopping on. Hello, Izzy. Um, make sure that you're saying, Hey, my name is Bethany from count your stitches. This is our usual Sunday night lives. Oh, I found a corner piece guys. It's like the first one I found. That's exciting. Um, we do Sunday night lives pretty much every Sunday. Um, I'll let you know if we take a break. Um, but pretty much every Sunday and we're back to kind of doing the eight o'clock thing again, especially now that football is going to be over too. Um, like we might take Super Bowl Sunday off. Um, maybe we'll see. Let me know. So like if we, 
Um, if we, what would be like a preferred time, guys? Help me out here because there are some times where like 8 o'clock just doesn't work, right? Um, it happens. So what's what's more preferred? Like doing a different night at 8 o'clock? Like maybe a Friday night or something? Or, um, or Saturday night at 8? Or... Um, or doing an earlier time on Sunday. What would be the preference, guys? Help me out so that I can, you know, because I, I mean, I, I do this with you guys, for you guys, so I don't want to be going live at a time that doesn't work for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so if I couldn't do a Sunday at eight, um, what would be preferred that week? Going live on like Friday night at eight or going earlier on Sunday? Um, what would be the preference, guys? Let me know, drop a comment down below, all right? I would love to hear from you. All right, guys, we are almost all the way around our heart. And then I think I will add, um, guys, we have glue strings to get rid of here. Holy. <laughs> um, yeah, so don't forget to drop a comment below letting me know um, what when would be better to watch. Um, you know, like if I couldn't do a Sunday date, would like a Friday date be better? Jennifer says, this works for me. I watch someone else and they end right before you. Oh, perfect, Jennifer. So, all right. So earlier might not be better. I do notice that when we do go earlier, there's not a lot of people, not as many people available. Um, I think, I think this, so, so we'll definitely keep Sundays at eight. Um, and then maybe, yeah, if we can't do Sunday at eight, I'll probably, maybe I'll try to do like a Friday night. Um, if I can't do the Sunday, a later, a later, you know, on a Friday night. Sundays are good. We love. Oh, thank you so much, Yvonne. Yvonne, I'm so glad that we connected. What a small stinking world, huh? It's too funny. All right, we are almost around. Just need a couple more. This one's kind of ripped, so I'm not going to use that one. Just need a couple more. Okay. Do one, and then we'll do one more in the center. I want a particular one, though. Hold on. Let's do this one, more of a squarish one. I'm super pumped. That did not take as long as I thought. All right. Guys, I secretly like it with the different colors. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of wondering if I should have um, painted the heart one color and then just done it with the multicolored puzzle. But it's kind of too late now. So I think we'll just stick with the idea I had. Just getting rid of all the strings, guys. Hot glue string mess. All right. Check that out, all the puzzle pieces around. Isn't that neat? Whoops. Got to make sure I'm catching everything. Friday at 8, if not Sunday at 8. Yep, okay, Sundays are great. I work till 6 on Fridays, but I can always quit my job, Lauren. You're funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wish I could quit my job. Goodness gracious. All right, I think I'm just going to throw... Um, a couple of pieces on top of where I see some empty ones, um, and like some empty spaces just for a little bit more dimension. Um, and then we'll paint this up. All right. Oh, and then we're going to do a little stenciling tonight, guys. I have not used a regular stencil in a long time, like a you know, lift and go. I usually make a stencil with my Cricut and it's sticky and done for me. So this ought to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> whew. Okay. I think that's good. Um, all right. Cool beans. So I am going to, I don't think we need the glue gun much. Oh, shucks. Hold on. Hold on. We have a lift. We have a lift. I lifted it up. There we go. Okay. We're back down. We're good. Don't panic people. Oh, and then the hot glue, man, not my evening. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Cool. All right. So here we go. I am going to unplug this because we can get our heat gun ready for some painting. I don't think we're going to need hot glue anymore. Um, so, all right, cool. Is this light too bright, guys? Let me know if um, what the lighting is like. I moved my lamp because I had it here originally when we started this whole journey together. Um, and then I moved it over here. Um, so that it was more on my project, but then it wasn't here as much. So you couldn't like, when I lifted things up, you couldn't see. So I put it back, but it has three settings. So let me know if this is too bright. Um, and I can put it down a setting. All right. Just let me know. Okay. So my plan for painting 
is my thought here is guys, we're going to paint the whole thing red. And I figured red would be good um, because it would give me the best coverage on the puzzle pieces. Um, and then I was going to dry brush on the puzzle pieces only some white to give it some texture. And then we'll do the love you to pieces stencil in the middle. All right. So, yeah, so just let me know. Thanks, Mom. Um, let me know how the lighting is, everybody. Make sure it's it's okay for everybody. Okay, here we go. I'm using crim uh, Cardinal Crimson Apple Barrel. My acrylic paints that I usually use. Mm, come on. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get going. We'll grab Mrs. T's brush. Oh, gosh, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Here we go. Um, here we go. I'm going to just, oh yeah, this is, we might need like two, we might need two coats, but this covers just fine. And I'm going to lift all this up because we're going to need to get in here. Going to get on all the little nooks and crannies. This is going to be great. So yeah, so today we had, um, a little birthday parade for my auntie who had a milestone birth, uh, birthday. I'm trying to think. Yesterday I had to work. We had an open house at work, which went wicked well. Um, and what else did we do this weekend? Not a whole lot. I'm working on a super big crochet project right now um, that has been loads of fun. And I'm like, it's like, it's a big project. And I was worried about starting it because, um, you know, I don't know. I've never done it. So the pieces are small, but sometimes that makes for the hardest crochet project because you have so many little pieces to make and like you can see mistakes a lot easier with littler pieces um you know because there's not any like room to fix it around or anything you know what i'm saying hi patty um sorry i didn't wear my glasses because they just didn't work with the hat <laughs> um so i'm having a, so it's not as easy for me to see um but yeah so um you know sometimes making littler pieces when you're crocheting is a lot more difficult because there's not any room to hide mistakes. Um, and the pieces are smaller, which means they're a little bit more harder to work with. Um, but I've been super proud of myself. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's coming, it's come out great. I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, so that's been like my main product. I have a lot, actually I have quite a few orders right now, which I'm super excited about. Normally once Christmas is over, uh, oh, glue, 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 glue. Once Christmas is over, um, usually my, orders go down. I mean, naturally, right? Because people are not as much time for gifts and things like that. Um, you know, there's not as much reason for it, um, it all at one time. But I, um, I have tons of orders. People are like ordering way ahead, like months ahead too, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah. So it's, I, I feel like we're, we're growing in the right direction. It's still manageable um, because, you know, I still have a full-time job and that's certainly not, certainly not going to be an option to not have that. Um, so I need to be able to kind of handle all of this and that. Although don't get me wrong, most days I wish I could just craft all day and do videos and all that fun stuff one day. One day. That is the goal, my friends. That is the goal. I cut my bottoms off of a gallon-sized milk carton as a tray for my paint. That's a phenomenal idea, Jennifer. Um, that's a great idea. I know the paper plates, I kind of waste. My mom got me, um, here, I'll show you. My mom got me some of these too. Um, these little trays to put my paints into, which are super cute. Um, so yeah, I have, and a lot of times I actually just apply my paint right to the surface that I'm painting. Um, and if I were painting this heart without puzzle pieces on it, that is absolutely what I would do. Um, I would have just squirted it on the heart and just gone to town. Um, but because I need to get in all these like little nooks and crannies of the puzzle, um, I'm not doing it that way. But normally, I don't waste the plate if I don't have to. Um, like the other day when I was, oh, when I was doing the, the stencil that I, I made the video of yesterday, that I posted the video of yesterday, um, part of the stencil was blank. Like there, it was just, it was just vinyl that, um, wasn't cut or anything. Cause there was just, there was a piece where I was going to put a little heart. Um, so I put the paint on that <laughs> and because I knew, you know, I could put it there and, um, not worry about it going through or anything. All right. We're just about 
painted with the, the, the puzzle pieces. All right, now we're just gonna finish the heart. And then I will, I'm gonna dry this and then I'll do one more like quick coat, not as, not as um, meticulous about it. Yeah, so to finish off, I'm just throwing it on there. Oh my gosh, all right, here we go, here we go. So different with puzzle pieces, never would have thought of that. Good idea. Yeah, Patty, I, I was saying earlier, um, I didn't come up with it. I saw something kind of like it with the love you to pieces and I was like, oh, we can do this with a heart and line the heart with it and um, that would be super cute. So I didn't come up with the love you to pieces slat, you know, with the puzzle pieces idea, but to put it with our heart, um, that was where I wanted to go with it. All right, let's try this. What else we got going on? Hello, Holly. Thank you for hopping on. Holly just ordered some super cute socks that I, that's my next project. Um, I'm wicked excited. Okay, so I feel like we can't go live tonight without talking about the burn. Um, I have my inbox, my text messages, my everything has been inundated with the little Bernie, the little crochet Bernie. Um, holy moly. Did y'all hear about the, what he did too? Um, with, he made the sweatshirt and then donated all the proceeds. My goodness gracious. That's using your, your power for all good, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, so I, I did see the pattern because so many people have shared it with me. Um, I have not decided yet if it's something I want to take on. Um, just with the amount of orders I have at the moment. Um, but we shall see, all right? Just, again, just because I'm busy, which is a wonderful thing. Um, so we shall see. I, I found the pattern. I'm going to take a look at it. Um, I might buy it to see. I'm going to do one more coat here. Yes, Holly, this is my favorite heat gun, the Warrior Heat Gun from Harbor Freight. Absolutely my favorite. I mean, well, I've never really used any other, but I love it. Um, plus, my daddy got it for me, so that makes it special. All right, let's go for a second quick coat here with the red, guys. Um, nothing too, too fancy. But, yeah, so that's – I just wanted to kind of fill everybody in on uh, the sitch with the burn. But, man, talk about something like taking off like wildfire, huh? Boom. Sheesh. Okay. Guys, this is just like a quick coat. Just to, cause we're gonna we're gonna um, dry brush on it too, so that will cover up some of the darkness. Now, so when I was looking at the puzzles, um, of what again I got a super cheap puzzle because we're gonna paint it, right? We didn't wanna spend money on a puzzle and then paint it. Um, I tried to get one that had um, lots of like more brighter, um, pretty colors. I didn't get anything. It, this one was like, I think it was like a pencil. Oh, I got paint on my desk. Oopsies. Um, this is when my bags are not big enough. Um, I think this was a puzzle of quilts, actually. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm saying this is because you don't want to get one that's like too, has, has pieces that are too super dark um, or else you'll just never get paint to cover. I mean, you could certainly like prime them and then, um, and then paint them and yada, yada, but... Who's got time for that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I mean, I love spending time on crafts, but I don't want to spend unnecessary time on crafts. Guys, I love how this looks. OMG. I actually think you can see the puzzle pieces better now that they're, um, now that they're painted. Isn't that funny? I thought it was going to look, I was afraid it would look not as good, but I'm loving this. And I'm not, this is not perfect, guys. It's it is what it is. <laughs> you know me. But oh man, I am. This is coming out better than I thought. <laughs> I love when that happens. Ugh. All right. Yeah, guys. I'm trying to think of like what else we did this weekend. Oh, I know what else we did this weekend. Hello. Um. So my Bob's birthday is on the Tuesday. Um. Oh, shugs. Well, so Bob's birthday is coming up. And um, 
So we had a we had a little birthday zoom for him, which was super fun. Yeah, Amy, I just love the way that it's almost like they're popping even more um, than when they were they were um, their regular color. It's so neat. I'm just drying this up, guys. I want it to be dry enough because I want to um, dry brush on it in a minute, all right? It does look like a giant valentine, Amy, right? Oh. I miss getting together with people, you know? I mean, I know we do, like, birthday parades and things, but it's not the same. All right, so here we are so far. How adorable is that? Can you see the definition with the puzzle pieces on the heart? I really, I just, oh, wow. This is, again, this is just really, really neat. I'm loving the dimension here. Ah, all right, cool. So now, Ski. Yeah, it's kind of neat because you can still see some of the dark of the puzzle pieces through it, and that's okay. Because, again, it gives it some dimension. Oh, I definitely missed. But that's okay because we're going to put white on it now. So I'm going to, this is T's brush. It's going in the water. Our water is now a beautiful shade of red. All right. So, guys, um, for those of you who are just hopping on, I just want to refresh. All right. So my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. This is our normal Sunday night live, um, usually every Sunday night at 8 o'clock. Make sure that you set your notifications for Count Your Stitches, and you'll get notified whenever we post, whenever we go live, all of those fun things. Um, we post most days of the week. Sometimes we take a day off here and there to let everybody catch up on the crafty goodness from the rest of the week. Um, we post videos, pictures, all sorts of things. Um, and, yes, yeah, so we go live with a craft mostly every Sunday. So, again, set those notifications so that you're always here with us, always can join us. And tonight we are making a Love You to Pieces Valentine hanger. Um, and so what we did was we glued a bunch of, we just got a cheap puzzle, which we certainly cannot finish now because our pieces are on here. We glued pieces around the edges with our hot glue gun, painted the whole thing red, and now we're gonna dry brush some white on top of it. Alrighty. If you are just hopping on, make sure that you say hello. We are just about to dry brush some white. So guys, I don't need as much white because we're going to wipe on, wipe off, right? Wax on, wax off. Um, I am going to grab a more, no, we're gonna grab a big brush for this one. I have some paper towel because what we're gonna do is put paint on our brush and then take the paint off and not get it all over our fingers. All right, shall we? Let's dry brush. Oh my God, I love it. I already love it. The, because the, um, hence the puzzle pieces have so much dimension to them with their edges. It just, I mean this, gosh, I didn't think this would work this good. This is one of those moments that I'm like, nice job, Bethany. Killed it with this idea. <laughs> Proud of myself on this one, guys. All right. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. It's totally okay if you get some on the regular heart. It's fine, guys. All right. So, guys, another thing I wanted to chat with you about tonight was future craft projects. All right, so I'm looking at the calendar, trying to plan our projects, right? We've got some holidays coming up. Obviously, we're doing the Valentine's Day right now. All right, what do we think? Really quick. Is that not adorable? Look at how cute that looks with the dry brush on the puzzle pieces. I'm in love with that. This puzzle piece heart can be my Valentine. Sorry, Bob. No, it's kidding. JK. Love. Look at that. All right. Right, Jennifer? I, this is one of those moments. I'm like, yes. Yes. All right. Okay. So we're going to keep going. Do I want any more here? I don't know. I kind of, I think this is enough. Um, okay. So back to what we were talking about. So. We have some holidays coming up. Obviously, we have the Valentine's Day. We've been doing a lot of crafts with that. Um, we have 
Um, thanks, everybody. We have St. Patrick's Day coming up. We have Easter coming up. And then we have spring. And then obviously we'll get into like the 4th of July summer stuff, which I can't wait until the 4th of July. Favorite holiday right here, okay? But um, the calendar's kind of tight with like Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day, then Easter. Like there's not a lot of weeks. So, but we've had a lot of Valentine's. Um, and not that I don't love it, but I also don't want people to get sick of it. So Drop a comment below if you'd like me to switch into St. Patrick's Day a little sooner. Um, or if like we threw in some spring or Easter here and there, if that would be okay. Um, or if you want me to just go like straight Valentine's Day until Valentine's and then go into the St. Patty's. And then, you know, let me know if it's okay, if you guys think it's okay, if I kind of drop things here and there, kind of go off schedule a bit, if you will. Which is not my style, if y'all know me. Um, but for you... I can do that. So just drop comments below about like what your preference is of what kind of crafts you want to see right now. Do you want to see more Valentine's? Are you ready for St. Patty's Day? Are you ready for some Easter, some spring? I know we're still in, I do want some winter. Do you want some more snowy, like the, the skate and the snowflake stuff we've been doing? So just drop some comments below of like crafts that you're looking for um, and what you want to see. So you let me know. Hi, Mrs. Borges. Thanks for hopping on. All right, so here we go. Oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you, Yvonne. All right, so guys, I have this tiny little stencil. It is not sticky or anything. It's just a bunch of letters. Um, I am going to kind of at random do Love You to Pieces. Um, I wish I had a smaller dabber, but I don't. That one broke, or that one ripped, I think, and I had to throw it away. So I just get like, these come in a pack of three. Um, and I use them over and over. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, I'm wondering if we should throw in a wintry type thing again. I mean, I love the Valentine's Day, and I have plenty of stuff planned for it, but I don't know. I think we're getting, I'm getting a little done with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I have a ton. I like, I have like this table over here that like all the Valentine stuff is sitting on. Um, all for you guys. Message me for an order, okay? Um, oh, thank you guys. You're so, oh, so nice. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, everybody. Um, all right. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out then. I'll see how I'm feeling. I'll go, I'll organize this week. All right, so I'm just gonna do love you to pieces. So again, when you're when you're stenciling, guys, we're gonna take the, it's the same thing, I'll wax on, wax off. So we're going to put the paint on the dabber and then we're gonna dab a ton of it off because we don't want it to be gloppy, okay? And then just pressing motion. Now I'm gonna have to do my dabber on like an angle, which is anti what I'm supposed to be doing, but because, um, my dabber is a little big. It's just what's going to have to happen. All right, the O, I'm going to have to fill in the middle. Um, because it, this stencil doesn't have like the O filled in, like the middle part, which is kind of funny. But I'm just going to like go on an angle and, you know, see how it comes out. You know what I'm saying? So a little goes a long way with stenciling, guys. So don't worry about too much paint. And just up and down, up and down, up and down. And then we can just um, touch up anything that might have either bled or like that my dabber, you know, gotten the, out of where it needed to go. Or if like there was still paint that was wet and it got, we can touch that up after. I am not worried. Okay. So guys, love is almost done. I'm just gonna do love you to pieces. Yeah, this would be really opportune moment for the uh, smaller dabber, but it is what it is. I'm trying to think, do I have like a paintbrush I could use? But I also have a little sponge. I wonder if that would be helpful. Hold on, let me take, let me get a little sponge. I could use the corner of this. Let me try that. I worked on some St. Patrick's Day stuff and some 4th of July just to get ahead a little. Yeah, Jennifer, absolutely. I went to um, Dollar Tree the other day and um, I'm going to do Love You to Pieces. Um, and they had this, obviously they had the St. Patty's Day stuff out and I picked up a bunch. Mom and I were there. All right, I'm just going to use the corner of this kitchen sponge, see if that helps. Give us a little bit more control. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Love 
L O. Yeah, this stencil is wet, um, and the paint is still wet on the letters, so we're getting white everywhere that we're not supposed to. But that's okay. We'll just touch it up later. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's rustic, guys, right? It's rustic crafts, homemade. It's wonderful stuff. So um, anybody watching the game right now? Who's Bills or Kansas City? Who's winning? Well, let me know. All right, love you. And we're going to throw in a two. So a T. And guys, I feel almost concentration like I can't talk. <laughs> that never happens. You can ask Bob. <sighs> okay, two. All right, let's give this a, let's, yeah, let's, you know what? We're going to hit this with the dryer real quick. What kind of, um, what kind of craft should we do for St. Patty's Day and Easter? Yeah, that's a question I have. So I have some St. Patty's stuff ready for Easter. Tell me this, guys. Drop some comments. Are we looking for, um, Easter, like, more blessed kind of stuff? Or, like, in terms of, like, you know, that kind of theme? Or Easter, like, um... Um, Easter eggs, bunnies, things like that. I have a little bit of kind of each. I can go different angles, but let me know what you prefer. Amy, could you use sticky letters instead of paint? Absolutely, Amy. Um, if you don't have a stencil, if you don't have stuff to do stencils, um, you can absolutely use um, stickers. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. That probably would have been a better idea, but I don't know. I, I, like, I like stenciling. Um, but yeah, so for someone who, who wants to do this without needing to get a whole bunch of supplies, um, yes, totally, totally can use stickers. So P I hold, help me here, guys. P I E. Okay. Cause this is good. This is like a total mess guys. That's okay though. It's cute. It's rustic. I'll sand it too. Um, once I fill in some red. P-I-E, oh, that was bad, C-E-S. Oh, boy. We're really struggling now, guys. The E hit the T above it. I'm really, whoops, that's okay. I'm not worried about it. P-I-E-C-E-S. Yes, guys? Am I spelling pieces right? Yeah, P-I-E, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, you know, it's like you, you don't know until you, you don't question it until you have to make a project with it, you know what I'm saying? Then you're like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know how to spell the English language. Oh my gosh. I was talking to this little girl the other day, five years old for work. She is fluent in Portuguese, Russian, and English. Five years old. Actually, she's not even five yet. She'll be five. I'm like, geez, I love when five-year-olds are smarter than me. <laughs> geez, Louise. All right. Let's dry my hands a little. Dry this, and then we'll go in with a small brush. Touch it up. I've never used that stencil before. Don't know if I'm going to use it again because that was a bit of a struggle. But I'm going to take a small art brush, um, a skinny one with some red paint. And so what's on tap for this week, guys? First of all, can we talk about how it is the last week in January? January was this super long month and all of a sudden it's the last week of it i i because didn't we have like an extra week in in this month wasn't it one of those five week months or something however that happens um but can, can we talk about that that's just ridiculous what's on tap for everybody tell me what's going on this week are most people um working from home are a lot of you in the office? I'm I'm in the office. Um, it's a school, so we're open. So, which is great for the kids. Just touching up some of these guys. Not worrying too much about it. Um, 
because I am going for like a kind of fun look with this one. But I'm just taking my small art brush and getting some of these areas where the paint smudged. It's not the worst thing in the world, guys, but I do want to get some of it because it did get all over. So it's definitely not going to look perfect. And you know what? If I end up like really not liking it, I may just make a stencil on my Cricut re and then paint over this and re-stencil. Um, I don't know. We'll see how I like it at the end. We shall see. So yeah, what's up for this week? Work, work, work. Yes, ma'am. In the office. Too busy crafting to notice. <laughs> I don't work. Oh, okay, Jennifer. Good. Well, I'm sorry to hear that that's, that's what you're considered, but I am glad that you're home and safe and able to do some crafting. That's awesome. All right. I am just going to throw a little in the center of my O, in the center of my O, center of my O, and then center of my P. All right, let's try this and then do one more coat on the areas that were a mess. Actually, no, I think we'll just sand it. That will help it. I'm gonna grab my sander. Maybe, what do we think guys? Should we, use, do we need a bow? On this, I did grab some ribbon if we needed it for a buffalo check, black and, black and red. Do we need a bow? Let me know. Drop a comment below. Do you think we need a bow on this? Making sure it's good and dry before we sand it. So yeah, drop, um, drop a comment if you think we need a bow. I'm going to grab my sandpaper, my sanding block. Give this a little bit of a sand. See what we think. I'm going to use the 320 side. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I may end up doing a a cricket stencil for this. I don't know, because I'm not sure I love this. It didn't come out as cute as I wanted, but that's okay. It's all trial and error. I could always just throw a bowl like right here and kind of even it out. But that's okay. I don't I don't love the stencil. I don't love how it came out, but that's that's it is what it is. Oh my gosh, even the back side of this is hot from the, the heat gun on it. Um Yeah, I think I agree, guys. No bow. I guess I agree. It'll probably take away from this. I think I'll make a, I'll probably make a stencil on my Cricut that'll do like a love you to pieces. Maybe it'll be a little bigger, um, but I'll use like a, limps, a whimsical um, font maybe to do it. And I'll just paint over this and try again. It is what it is, guys. You know what I mean? So, but I love this idea. Um, so, and again, like Amy was saying, you can totally use stickers. Um, yeah, I think we'll go without the bow and I may redo the stencil. I, but I do love this whole idea, and I love how the pieces came out, the love you to pieces. Um, you can use sticker letters if you want to do this. Um, I'll definitely put a hanger on the back, um, but it's just a cute idea to use the puzzle pieces for the love you to pieces, you know what I'm saying? But I really like I really like this. I think it's adorable. Um, I just don't love how my stenciling came out, but that's okay. Guys, it happens, right? I can't tell you how many times I redo projects. Um, so speaking of projects before we head off, I want to show you, um, cause I said I would reveal tonight the, um, thing that I made. Might have to try something like this. Yeah, Jennifer, I'm going to, I'll fix it. Hey, you know, this is live guys. So we just roll with the punches. So I said that I would reveal what I was making yesterday. So let me grab it so you guys can see. Now this project, 
I had to redo, so it happens, right? So I made this yesterday. I ended up using a different heart than what is in the video that I posted yesterday, um, just because the heart that I had made for it didn't end up going with the look. So I made a new heart, um, but this is what I made yesterday with my Cricut stencil. So I ended up just getting, I have, an, I have a bunch of these hearts and I just painted it the same color that I used for the stencil. Um, and I made it super distressed, sanded it a ton. Um, and then I put a little bow on it, a little bow here. So this is what we made yesterday. Guys, this was just two planks of wood that I uh, used popsicle sticks to hold together to make a surface. You can make so many things into a surface, guys. Um, this is actually from like a make your own birdhouse kit or something like that. And it was these like gorgeous pieces of wood and I've been using them for surfaces. So, um, and I was just trying to make something that technically could stay out all year. You know, you don't, this doesn't have to just be Valentine's, especially since it's more rustic looking more. Um, it's got the purples and the whites as opposed to like the bright pinks and reds. Um, so you can really use it for anything. Um, and it's simple little shelf sitter. I'm, and I'm not going to put anything on the back. I just want it to be a shelf sitter. Um, but yeah, so this is what I made yesterday. Changed out the heart to be something that fit more. And I super distressed it. I sanded it. And so you can see tons of the wood through it. Um, you can see the edges. The piece is super like weathered and worn, totally rustic. I sanded it lots and I love it. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of, that's what I finished yesterday. Um, so we have this in the shop. I will post it. I need to update my shop online. Um, so this is what we did. So yeah, guys, so that's, um, that's tonight. I'm sorry it didn't come out as good as, as I wanted it to. Um, I apologize, but you know, this is real life and I'm, I'm a real, you know, crafter and we're just, we're trying here. So this is what we came up with tonight. A little love you to pieces. Um, definitely not finished. I will finish it. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I will be back. Yeah, we'll be back next week. Um, I'm not sure with what yet. Um, we'll either do Valentine's or St. Patty's. We'll have to see. Or winter. I'm not sure. I had a schedule of what I wanted to do, and I think I want to kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, since you guys are so supportive and kind of just let me do whatever I want. So thank you. I love you guys to pieces. Oh, as always. Um, so thank you guys again for hopping on tonight. Um, once I kind of update this, I will post it, of course. And make sure that you sprinkle this video on your page um, if you love it so that we can um, reach more people and spread the crafting love. All right, we want to make sure that we can spread this to as many people as possible. I will see you guys next week. Thank you for saying, oh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Yes, yeah, see you next week, AIM. Love you. Love you too, AIM. Um, talk to you soon, Jennifer. Thank you so much for everything. Have a great week, everybody. Enjoy the last week of um, January. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.